Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be doing a Chris Weber gameplay. But before we go any further, huge shout out to my guy Brandon for letting me hop on his account to do this gameplay of Chris Weber. Now, I have one fond memory of Chris Weber involving timeouts. Michigan have to bring it. Oh, he walked. He, he walked in. and referee missed it. Weber brings it into the front court. They have no timeouts for Oh, he causes too many timeouts. That's a technical foul. That's besides the point. Chris Weber in 2K is very, very solid. Now, I'm going to try to play him at the center position today. 6'9", 245 pounds. Does come with a 93 mid-range jumper, which is very, very good. 78 three ball with a decent enough release that I can work with. 85 driving dunk, 95 standing dunk, 75 ball handle, 89 block, 82 steal with a 78 interior defense. Good rebounder and 84 speed. Blows my mind right there with a 62 lateral quickness. His lateral quickness isn't super good, but his speed blows my mind. Three out of fame badges, post spin technician, break, break starter, rebound chase with 15 on gold, drop stepper, put back boss, dimer, box, pogo stick. Needle threader, quick first step on gold, brick wall on gold, absolutely incredible. Nine silver badges, including moving truck. Five bronze badges. He does come with the clamps badge on bronze, which is very, very, very important. Now, you can obviously upgrade all of these badges and stuff like that. I know, I know this guy added, he added clamps, added all of these badges. I wish, you know, you can add a range extender on this Chris Weber card, so that's something I would probably possibly add on him if i had him on my account but you can add clamps as the guy's account that i'm playing on did but without further ado guys let's hop in to shoot around to see how chris weber's release is and the dribble six he has now i do want to state applying badges are very very important now right now obviously i hate this court that I'm, I'm using right now but right now obviously it's not that big of an issue but when you start looking at cards for you know possibly a 250k team that's when it becomes a real big thing because if you can apply a range extender and clamps to this chris weber card which you can that makes him a, a, a not necessarily a sure thing but gives him a better chance of, of being relevant in three weeks compared to you know just being a, a weak type of card so in in, in terms of his speed and, and everything about this chris weber card i think he has a chance to be relevant two weeks from now i truly do believe that and i know a lot of people may disagree with me but Right now, as far as the center position, I don't know if you can name a better center. I really don't. Obviously, Mike is up there and some other players, but they're not as fast as this Chris Webber. With a shoe right now, not even including a coach, he has an 84 speed. That is ridiculous. Nobody is going to be moving as fast as this Chris Webber. Look at the speed of him. And I, if, I know, if I've known anything, it's that speed on a center is invaluable is so so valuable especially with the how the way i play everything like that that is something that, that you can never take away from chris weber and i know his release wasn't that good last year but i'm not ha i'm not that bad with it i feel like i'm more green with this release compared to a lot of the other releases that i've been using um but that's that's just prep releases really are all preference but when you compare him to george mike and I don't know whose release I'd rather have. I might rather have Chris Webber's. Now, obviously, I still got room for improvement and everything like that. But I'm very, very, you know, I'm optimistic about this Chris Webber card, to say the least, guys. Without, you know, further ado, let's see what Chris Webber can do in an unlimited gameplay. I ran up against Ozzy Pawsy in this unlimited game. He's obviously running Dame and KD. But the one thing I will say is when people compare Bob Lanier to Chris Webber, I don't even think it's going to be close. Chris Webber, in my opinion, his versatility, everything he gives you is so much more than Bob Lanier. Chris Webber time, yes, sir. Now, I did call, you guys might be like, why'd you call her timeouts? Well, I got, you know, I had to take care of something real quick. But hey, that's not, I shot it early. That's not going to stop Chris Webber from going crazy. Now he's going to call all his timeouts. Here we go. I just, most people with free agents just aren't very good, but we'll see. As I'm talking down Bob Lanier, watch. I talk down Bob Lanier pregame and watch. He's going to drop me off for about 500 points. But I do like Chris Webber a lot. I feel like, especially in a, in a five-out situation, it fits him pretty good. Just the floor spacing, everything like that. And I, you can't just sit there and leave Draymond Green. He will make you pay nine times out of ten. I, I don't know what I'm doing with releases, but... I've been pretty bad all day with releases, but the defensive unit I have out here right now, Paul George, Draymond, it is pretty good. Not to say Steve Nash and Manu are good because they're not, but overall it's good. Chris Weber with the steal up to Paul George. Easy two-handed jam. Look at Steve. Back to C-Web. 
I really wanted to. There it is. Good back cut by Steve Nash. I was waiting for him to go. Finally does. Chris Webber making plays happen. Pinch. Great, Paul George. Absolutely love the way Paul George defends. Good, PG. Up to Manu. I'm stopping on the break. I got a green, though. Look at C-Web. That's green. I sold that release. That's fine. Chris Webber, a big rebound and another assist. Good. Under everything. You got it. All right. This guy is trolling me, man. Why am I getting trolled right now in an unlimited game? Woo! Chris Webber! Hey, coast to coast. What's all right? We live with those. Come here. That's not it. I meant to call it positional play call and hit the wrong button. Not on Draymond and C Web. That's not going to happen. C Web, coast to coast. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at Chris Webber, the athleticism. Does that remind you of anybody? Or am I just dreaming? Chris Webber out here looking like Giannis. This guy has called all but one of his timeouts. I mean, I can't really be mad because I, I, I received a call and had to uh, take all my timeouts. But just the way he's playing, really. I mean, what am I supposed to show you about Chris Webber besides his versatility? Able to box out Shaq. All, all that type of stuff I can show you with that. What I can't show you is how he would look at... Hey, look at C-Web. Euro stepping his way to the cup, man. I can show you everything. Forget what I just said. There you go. Finally, he's playing like a, a, a normal human being. Get it to see well. What is your what is your dribble six like? Oh, you got the normal two. <laughs> he got the normal two behind the back. He got swatted, but I like that. Woo! Paul George, y'all know what time it is. Up to see. I'm already mad about Chris Webber. I'm mad that he did not catch alley oop, but can this dude just shoot the ball like? Why is he the way he is? Look at Draymond. Oh, my Lord. Chris Webber should be able to attack Shaq. I have a feeling. So, let's just get him the ball and see see him go to work. Like, Shaq should not be able to guard him at all. Over to Manu. That's green. Not green, but he gets the green animation. It might as well be. He should have never even been involved in that play. Yo, I, I don't know. I feel like once I get his release down, it's going to be lights out. He only has a 79 three ball, so that's also important to know why I'm missing. You know I mean, his three, wow, look at C-Web. His three ball isn't super, super high, so that's an, an, another, wow. Anytime I'm trying to talk, I can't even say anything because I just keep getting amazed at how, how complete of a player Chris Webber is. These are the types of dudes I hate getting in unlimited more than anybody else. I'd rather play a guy that's at least halfway decent at the game than a guy like this. Finally, I time up Chris Webber's jumper. Get the pick and pop green light to go. Who needs Porzingis when you could get Chris Webber? All right, man. This guy's going to get kicked here in about a couple minutes. But it was, it was just annoying to play this guy. But Chris Webber really did show what he could do. Like, showed he, kind of a complete player on both ends of the court, which is what I want to see. I, I love his speed rating. and really want to see him utilize that to his fullest extent. Yeah, you give me the win. Chris Webber gets a big-time frustration foul win. In the second quarter. I'm pretty annoyed of Unlimited right now. So let's hop into a triple threat online game. To see Chris Webber move. Everybody got Bob Lanier. We run up against Bob Lanier, Campy Russell, and Paul George. But Chris Webber is going to drop Lanier off. I got no doubt in my mind. Chris Webber is literally incredible. I wonder, does Bob Lanier have clamps? That's what I'm wanting to know right now before anything. Chris Webber, run right by him. Mm, kind of got caught up in the traffic. That's literally boxed. Look at Bob Lanier playing great defense. Free boards for Weber. All right, let's chill for a second. Yeah, drop step him. Hall of Fame rebounds chaser into the drop stepper badge for an easy lay in for Chris Weber. Look at him on the defensive end, too. Look at how fast he is. Show me, Bob Lanier. Yes, sir, C Web. Yes, sir, C. I I just don't know about this Paul George. I don't know about attacking him for fun. Oh yeah, in the post though I will. Out to Dre. That's not who you're gonna want to leave. I sold the release. Look at C Web though. He didn't get that rebound, but he almost did because of the worm rebound Thank chase. Everything again. he has. Get it up to him. Out to Draymond. 
Can you stop shooting long twos? Like, I love you, Draymond, and I love your release. But can you shoot a three? Stop attacking Chris Webber, though. Before I get mad, stop attacking him. This is disrespectful. This is disrespectful. Stop attacking him. Chris Webber. Why not? Stop on the break. You're leaving. Ooh, I swear that was a straight arm. Oh, yeah. Take him into the post. All right. That's baby fool. Green. Literally. Can I just... It's Chris Webber's world, and we're all just living in it. The Hall of Fame rebound chaser is absolutely incredible. Board. Ain't no way. That's That would be two for two on whites. Gold box. Hall of Fame rebound chaser. He's got it all. Draymond. That's got to be green, though. I got to start greening my shots more consistently, but Chris Webber is putting on a show. Mm, I'm not greening anything. He only has bronze clamps right now, but you literally don't. That's a good move. You don't even notice his height. He does everything else on the basketball court, so you don't notice his height at all. See, Webb, I got to green more consistently. Back to him. That is disrespect, man. I'm going to green eventually. I promise you, I will green with this Webber card. That's the only thing that scares me a little bit, though, about him is he doesn't have an extremely high three ball. It's not low, but it's not super, super high, but it's still... It's still high enough in which you can green with the card. Obviously, he's going to be a lot more consistent in a My Team Unlimited setting than a... Do y'all just see what I saw? I just saw Paul George. I literally saw a man fly right there. Oh my gosh, I saw him fly. He can dribble a little bit, blows by right past Paul George, who even has clamps. He has post takeover, but I didn't even need to use it right there in the C-Web. Look at the attention he gets. Like, like, you're lucky I can't green right now. I promise you you're lucky. Just sit back. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to come in Chris Weber's paint. Sit back. It's C Web's paint and we're, it's his world, really, and we're all just living in it. Whoa, whoa. Chill. I'm going to shoot a three. That's green. Yup, I knew that one was green. Timed it up. Big time green light from Chris Webber, and he's starting to figure it out. Chase down. Chase down. No chase down needed from Chris Webber. He gets him out of here as well. Oh, yeah, that is going to wrap it up for Diamond Chris Webber, man. Listen, I think he's the best power forward slash center in the game. I think he's very comparable to a George Mike, and they give you a little bit of different things, but the fact that you can apply Randy Stetter clamps to this card, man, his versatility is ridiculous. Whether you play him at power forward center, it doesn't matter. I I can't name a better power forward or center better than Chris Webber. He has a shoe, and he has 84 speed. I, can, I can't emphasize the 84 speed enough because it's absolutely ridiculous, as well as an 88 strength, great rebounder, inside presence. I love Chris Webber. My heart is with Chris Webber. I know I didn't get a ton of unlimited gameplay or a ton of gameplay in general, but trust me, from the limited gameplay I had with him, he is absolutely incredible. Is Chris Webber worth his price? That's the that's the popular question people like to ask me. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Chris Webber is a, is a bid right now. And so the tough part about it is, is he worth his price? I don't think so because I don't think anybody is worth over 100k that's got released. But in my opinion, you know how high I am on Chris Webber. I'll leave that up to you. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love y'all and have a blessed day.